Rachel and I both uh, are from Oklahoma and spent uh, 15 years in Los Angeles. Rachel was a little bit more. And when Rachel moved back uh, in at the end of 2018, we decided we wanted to do something really exciting here in Oklahoma. And um, sound stages seemed like the most exciting thing that we could do to lay a foundation uh, to build the industry here. I think that, you know, we sat down with the city and we started talking about some of the different, um, you know, opportunities, different buildings that were available. We were really looking for something that had size. And um, the Cox Convention Center with the new convention center opening in 2021, um, it just kind of was the perfect opportunity. This has the size, it has the power, it has the HVAC. Um, it really is the perfect landscape for a film studio. Um, Cox Center is unique because um, it, it gives us an opportunity to have five sound stages. Uh, we have uh, three in the exhibit halls. There uh, is enough space to have three sound stages. This arena that we're in right here is 32,000 square feet with 65 foot ceilings, which makes it one of the biggest sound stages around um, and even upstairs in the ballroom uh, is a 25,000 square foot space that is perfect for sound stages. So it has all that but it also has space for for office, for mill work where sets are built. Um, there are practical locations, there's a diner, there's a industrial kitchen. So it really has everything that you need for a production facility. Well, uh, last spring, Prairie Surf Media, Rachel and Matt came to us, um, letting us know that they were looking at Oklahoma City for a, lo a place to locate a sound studio and asking about different opportunities or options the city might have for a space large enough to host that. So uh, we started brainstorming with them, different locations and buildings and facilities, and the Cox Center just kept rising to the top of the list as a building that might be suitable for their needs things about uh, Prairie Surf Media's vision was that they needed uh, to, to start a business industry here using a, most likely a building that was already existing so they wouldn't have to build the infrastructure. And so their time frame for building the business industry here and our time frame for needing a transitional use of the center, the Cox Center really worked out well. Um, we know that this site is probably one of our most valuable sites in downtown Oklahoma City. Uh, we also know that our market right now is probably not going to support immediate redevelopment. So it was kind of a, a great idea to pair the two together to look for something that could exist and keep the building active and bring new industry to Oklahoma City within the next five to seven years. Because it's such prime real estate, you don't really want it to just be an empty lot. You don't want it to be an abandoned building. I mean, it is right in the middle of everything. It's adjacent to our, our beautiful Mary Gardens and our soon to be thriving again, Chesapeake Arena and Bricktown to the east. Um, it's not out of sight, out of mind. And so you are left with some bad choices in that interim period before something exciting happens here. You've got either an abandoned building or a gigantic surface parking lot. You know, those are kind of your two options um, in the short term. And again, if you can turn it into uh, a lively functioning, you know, film production facility, which I mean, to even say those words sounds crazy. Like this was not something that was on our radar. Um, you know, a year or two ago. But if that can come to fruition, there's enormous upside there, obviously, for the community at large and for the film industry, but it also brings life to this block for years to come while we try to figure out what the long-term future is for this property. So this is where we imagine a TV series coming. So being able to have three different stages that would be able to help, you know, anything from Amazon, Netflix, Hulu, Disney, and um, so as soon as we can come out and talk about that, those will be our first of all. Um, we have, as long as I've been around, uh, which is probably about 15 years in Oklahoma City civic life, there have been, um, you know, ardent proponents of the film industry. And obviously Dead Center has been, you know, something that has grown over that same time period. And I think it's, you know, a great industry to be a part of. And I think that we as a city have tried to do everything we can to encourage it. It seems as if it never really took hold uh, to the degree it has now until the state really invested in it through the film credit. That really changed things. I mean, we've had a film credit, but when it got sort of amplified in the last few years, you could just notice here in the last two years the difference, that there have been film productions all over this state. Um, you know, and, and obviously from to the layperson standpoint, it's when the A-list actors hit town that, that we really noticed, you know. That, that, may, that, is, that is not necessarily the great economic impact of a film production to have an A-list movie star in town. 
it's the crew and it's everything else that comes with it. But that has just been sort of a reflection of this growing industry that I think has really been pushed by the film credit. And I credit also, you know, the Oklahoma Film Office. You know, we don't have an Oklahoma City Film Office. I kind of wish we did, but but we have worked in really great partnership with, with Kay Vysofsky and, and the Oklahoma Film Office team. So our, um, our ask on Tuesday is just for the exclusive marketing rights for this facility, and we will be moving into a lease agreement later in the year, if that is approved. And what do you think? What, what the marketing rights give us the ability to do is to start really reaching out to our contacts in Hollywood. Our hope is that we can build enthusiasm quickly and, and get someone here just as soon as, as we're ready to go.